Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield. This is episode 7. Last time, we became Tardigrade, Scarer of Tourists. And today, we are going undercover. We helped the Astraea fend off some ships. We got massacred a couple of times and uh, we, we got the hang of it, right? Uh, so, ship parts... Uh, need to be in your cargo hold to be used. If you own ship parts and they're in your person's inventory, it will not work. Um, so we have a few left over, which is nice because I think I had some in my inventory before I bought some. And then putting it all in the cargo hold allows us to actually heal, which is very nice. Uh, putting the heal uh, hotkey on the O button is a bit of an odd choice. So we've uh, put it to just the number one instead. So it's uh, within reach, and uh, we find ourselves in space as we travel to our next destination. So we're doing Rook meets King. Uh, we've got a report to the Vigilance near Phobos. So this is where we're headed. We'll set our course and we will travel to a new location. And then we will infiltrate the Crimson Fleet now, oh, that looks cool. Now, do you know what would be great? Uh, being the space scoundrel that we are, you know, maybe actually joining the Crimson Fleet for real. But we didn't intend to even, you know, we didn't even think about it. Oh, what's this? We didn't even think about it, right? Until we were arrested and then forced to do this job. Uh, so there you go. When I see an image like this, of like ships orbiting like a, a moon or a planet uh i'm just so excited for the star wars mods right i'm so unbelievably excited for the star wars mods i need a mandalorian spacesuit like immediately and star wars mods are always in bethesda they're just always there that's a that's a prime is it weird that i still get nervous around you we're literally best friends after all this ship just fucking crashed into this one. Hello? Oh, dude. Oh, is it docking? Is that its beautiful attempt? That's its beautiful attempt at docking? Or is it just frozen there now? Oh, no, it's just frozen there. It's not docking at all. The ship's... Oh, oh here it goes. It's correcting. It's course correcting. Um, oh my god. It's baby's first flight. It's baby's first space flight. He's got the learner plates on, that's for sure. Yeah, just go straight down. Whichever way's down in space, anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, we also met the adoring fan, which has chimed in there. Um, so we have the adoring fan as our companion, which is great. Uh, but back on topic, right? Back on topic of Starfield, you know, Star Wars mods. Uh, Bethesda and Star Wars mods, uh, they always uh, they always go together. You know, you, here's your lightsabers in Fallout and, and Elder Scrolls and all that kind of fun stuff. Because Star Wars, we love Star Wars and uh, the visual aesthetic of it is amazing. And Starfield is just the game for it. Obviously, it's the perfect game for it. Mandalorian spacesuit, uh, Imperial Star Destroyer, like, ships... Being able to have like actual properly uh, built Star Wars ships like the Razor Crest and X Wings and the Millennium Falcon, all of that kind of good stuff, and weapons as well, and outfits. Oh man, I I'm very excited for that. I'm playing the Game Pass version on PC uh, through through the Xbox app, uh, so I think I have to wait for the Creation Club mods to drop, uh, which they surely will, and I'll be very excited to to investigate uh, that. That's my little Star Wars mod tangent, because I just think that's going to be so enjoyable. Like, visually uh, appealing. We're going to hail the UC Vigilance, which is a level 100 vehicle. And, uh, and Doc, that ship just crashed into it again. Okay. You can see the arrow that it just fucking collided over the other side. What is it with ships entering this orbit... And um, just magnetizing onto the Vigilance. Look at that. That's the second one. <laughs> That's 
second ship to come in just to crash right into it. We like hail the vigilance. We're like, oh, vigilance, uh, you've got a couple of craft that keep crashing into your hull over. He's like, yeah, we get that every day. <laughs> Vessel ID acknowledged. Port one cleared for docking. Welcome home to the vigilance. Nice, let's dock. Let's show those ships how it's done. <laughs> Unbelievable. We've been cleared for docking. Green lights on outer hatch. We're docked. Oh, I can't wait for my adoring fan to meet everybody. I think we really need to go back to the lodge as well. Where to next? wants to see you. Uh, we need. We definitely need to. Wait, why are you here? I want the adoring fan. Um, you go back to the ship. I want the adoring fan. Um, let me board my ship real quick. Um, I need I to switch. I think, what would you do in my shoes? Not literally, though. I've got small feet. Okay, um, how do I... I can do companion assignments, I think, but I'm not sure... Um, how that works and where. Um, <clears throat> so we've got ship, inventory, skills, star map, missions. Um, could it be on the ship? Crew. And then... Am I able to have the adoring fan? Because it's just assigned to the ship, but then Sarah comes with me. And I'm not sure if I can just have him follow me out. Um, I also want to go back to the lodge. I'll uh, we'll go back to New Atlantis so we can... I want to bring that robot boy back with me as well and check out that room because I think we've got some cool stuff in there to explore with Constellation because we're not interacting with the main quest right now. We're doing some other fun stuff instead. Um, but we'll go back to the lodge and have an explore of that place too. Um, how do I get you to come with me? What's next on the agenda? Saving the world, saving the galaxy, saving the universe. Just the absolute drama of the voice. Being part of your crew is just the best. Okay. Um, well, all right. Well, I'm, I'm getting off then. Um, it should be both of them, right? Maybe the adoring fan is not allowed aboard. What do you reckon? <laughs> Could you imagine? It's like, yeah, he's actually banned. Um, <laughs> like, he has a reputation. All right, he's not with us. That's a shame. All right, let's follow the recruit. I guess I'll, I'm good to go from here. Can we change their outfits as well, I wonder, actually? Hold on. To Venus? If we go, um, oh yeah, Venus, the main quest. Yeah, maybe. Bring me anything useful. Can we change your, no, you just have cartridges. I wonder if you give her um, an outfit, if she will wear it. Or whether they are stuck in their own gear. I am curious. I'm going to give you this. Wait, if I press B. No, I equip that. Damn. Um, I'm going to give you this and then can you wear this? Oh, I think that might work because now it's equipped under Sarah. Oh, it works. You can dress them. Time to go. You can dress your companions. If you don't like their outfits, you can make them look cool. Okay. Nice. Um, probably not like my first choice, but it's like. It's better than what it was. Nice. We can change uh, adoring fan. <gasps> we can change the adoring fan. All right. So if we ever get that tardigrade outfit back, I'm putting it on the adoring fan. <laughs> we hunt piracy all across. Oh, but it only counts as a suit, so it won't even be normal, unfortunately. Hello there. At ease, soldier. Yes, I've done so well. We got the message from the Ragana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. I 
I risked my cover to do it, so you better appreciate it. I do. I know it's a delicate tightrope, and it doesn't go unnoticed that you're risking your own life to walk it. Every tightrope act needs a safety net. We appreciate the fact that you're behind us, Commander. Oh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. You bastards. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. True. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. That was a risky move. I could have died out there. I did multiple times. <laughs> Ecliptic doesn't have a problem attacking the Crimson Fleet. They are mercenaries for hire. If they are paid enough money, Ecliptic would attack the Vigilance. It wasn't terribly difficult to convince them to attack an isolated Crimson Fleet ship. Just expensive. It's a good thing that we know that they're willing to pay the credits, huh? Because they got, they got to pay me, too. I could have died out there. You weren't Ecliptic's primary target. <laughs> Besides, I had every confidence you'd be able to handle this situation. It was either that, or never possibly denying you entry into the Crimson Fleet for coming back without killing Rick. We were not the primary target. Meanwhile, as soon as we enter planetary orbit, all three of them are just like, let's turn that ship into shredded cheese. <laughs> it's a miracle that the whole thing worked. No miracle. Just calculated and careful planning, courtesy of UC Sysdev. You should learn to be more confident in our abilities, and your own. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Okay. What do you know about Neva? A woman has a record that could stretch across Seoul and back. She started young as one of Neon's street rats and worked her way up to second in command. She's a force to be reckoned with, so don't underestimate her. We've got stuff in common. I'm actually excited to go to Neon because that's our character's backstory and I don't even know what the place looks like, so this is going to be excited. Um, also another thing, right? This is my first Bethesda game that I am not playing the, um, the, the the nice guy. And in my past growing up, it was always like this thing was like, and I still can struggle with this when I'm playing um, like your role playing games is I struggle to be the, the asshole. <laughs> like it's, I've had to actually like push myself into that sort of like character sometimes in playthroughs for a change of pace or something different or um, just having like a different attitude. But in like Fallout Please 3... Proceed with your report. In Fallout 3, New Vegas, uh, Oblivion, Skyrim, it's like nice to everybody. That being said, in Fallout, I am the pickpockety scavenger guy, so I do be stealing. And then in um, like Elder Scrolls, my favorite factions are the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> so I do be thieving and killing... But to everybody else at face value, I'm like, yes, sir, jolly good, sir. I'm the paragon of this wasteland, you know, um, and I don't be like a, a dickhead to everybody. But something that I've really come to appreciate in my elderly years um, since my teenage gamer time with Bethesda is um, the fun if of you would kindly continue. The fun of role playing, the fun of just like picking a, a different archetype uh, that I want to be. And I always love the scoundrel space types in Star Wars. The scum and villainy is my favorite aspect of, of Star Wars. Uh, and a, a Starfield is the perfect game to do that in. And uh, it's so enjoyable so far. So that's why we're being rough around the edges. <laughs> just pay me so I can get out of here. You'll get paid once I consider your report complete. And we expect your reports to be thorough. Where the Crimson Fleet is concerned, no detail is inconsequential. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Oh, lying. This would be a really uh, this would be a really interesting play to uh, play both sides somehow. But um, we are going to 
keep up appearances with the UC, considering their um, significant reach of the stars, as it seems. Shouldn't I get off the Vigilance before my cover's blown? The Vigilance is equipped with one of the most advanced intelligence suites in the UC fleet. Nothing slips through. You can rest assured, if the Crimson Fleet had any access to our whereabouts or have infiltrated our security, we'd know. As long as you're here, your identity is safe. I got coordinates to the Crimson Fleet base. Excellent. If you're heading to the Key, I assume you'll be meeting Delgado soon. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Agreed. The last thing we need is to infiltrate the fleet, only to be kicked out because we've underestimated one of their people. I don't disagree, but it's important to know your enemy and the best way to defeat them. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually. But we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Damn. All right. They're, they're quite knowledgeable on what's going on. So we've got some profiles. I assume that that is in notes. Uh, can we sort that by new, please? <clears throat> no, we cannot. So I guess we go into new items. Okay. That's probably the best way to do it. It's interesting you can't sort specific tabs by new. All right, Crimson Fleet Profile, Adler Kempt is 45, hot-headed, competent, and seasoned. Adler is a Crimson Fleet ship captain operating out of Cydonia. His hot-headed nature means Adler is easily provoked, which has gotten him into numerous scrapes. Despite this flaw, Adler is a seasoned ship captain, and in most cases he can use his battle prowess to escape sticky situations. Addendum. As more information on Crimson Fleet captains is gathered, additional profiles will be added to Commander Akande's office terminal. Delgado is 44, clever, shrewd, careful, and calculating. Originally hailing from Aquila City, Delgado fell into crime at a young age. Despite being born into wealth, his parents exiled him in hopes of correcting the behavior, yet this only served to increase his criminal behavior, culminating in the theft of a cargo ship which he used to initiate himself into the Crimson Fleet. Delgado is a shrewd, clever leader who isn't prone to rash judgment. He keeps a tight rein on the Crimson Fleet, but he's given his pirates enough latitude to do what they do best. Ava Mora's 32, short-fused, temperamental, intense, incendiary. Ava Mora was born and raised in Neon and orphaned at a young age. She spent most of her youth getting arrested for crimes ranging from simple assault to grand larceny and was a frequent visitor at the Sistef prison. At 22, she stowed away on a transport to Aquila City, was eventually recruited to the Crimson Fleet. Addendum, has more information, blah blah blah, terminal. Awesome. Good stuff. So I wonder if there'll be any unique dialogue with Neva in terms of Neon stuff. Like, hey, you and I, Neva, we're not so different, you and I. We're both Neon Street kids. Alrighty. Time for us to to make like an omelette. Gone and made it to port with zero casualties. Alright, it's personal space, Sarah. Can I bring the robot with me instead? Maybe we should, uh, we'll make a quick little detour back to the lodge. See if I can bring, was it, uh, Vasco? See if I can bring Vasco back with me. I have time for a nap before we leave? Hmm? Um, yeah, on the one bed that we have in this place. This man loves to lean. Alright. Let us choose our destination. There's definitely plenty of things that we need to 
to get around to in this game. And I think uh, one of the one of the common feelings and common consensus uh, towards Starfield at the moment is everybody seems to kind of struggle to get into it, and then they they hit it like a stride, and they're like, "It's amazing." <laughs> so, and I think that that hits at uh, different times for a lot of different people depending on what they're looking for for this experience in this game, uh, which is which is very interesting. Uh, so I guess we'll be in a similar situation. Uh, so the Crick system is level 20. Uh, we are level 6. So this is kind of the hilarious part. <laughs> this is a level 20 star system. Um, why did this quest get given to us so early? It's like we get arrested and they're like, all right, you, low-leveled specimen. Would you like to go and do a high level quest? Um, <coughs> looks like I'm going to leave that alone because we're just going to get annihilated. Um, that ship combat where we were going up against level 12 ships um, speaks volumes. So I think we're going to leave that alone. As much as I really wanted to continue doing this, I think we're going to have to wait. Which means I think what we should do is um, probably the, um, the most important quest lines... Uh, in the game, which is to get the chunk special source and to buy the Dragon Star Force book. Um, that very much ties into what we need. So we're going to go to the volley system for the chunk special source. Um, I'm going to undock my ship so I can actually travel. Docking seal released. And now we are going to leave. And do that again. I need to just remember to dock first, uh, undock first, and then we can leave. An unexplored route. And look at this fuel consumption. You have not explored every system along this route. Try jumping to a closer system. Okay, so the red is because we haven't been here yet. So it looks like I need to go to uh, specifically to the RNA, Arane system, RNA1, and that jumps through the Narayan system. That you somehow uses more fuel, which is great. I, I find it interesting that you can't just take that route. You have to go um, You have to go through. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so we've got the Olympus system and the, the Arane system very close to each other. And somehow the fuel is just notably different. Okay, let's go to Olympus. Jest. All right, so we've got like a little system over there. We can hail it, and I wonder if that means we can then dock at it, which is something that we missed with Luna because I didn't realize we could target them and uh, hail them at the time. Is um, we might have been able to land on it. All right, I'm thinking we need we should look at some some ship stuff. What's kind of really interesting is. Ship perks seem like they need a lot of investment, right? So we've got piloting. So you need the piloting perk to just even utilize the thrusters. <laughs> um, so this unlocks ability to pilot higher class ships and increase ship turning rate and maneuverability. Targeting control systems unlock ship targeting functionality. So we don't even have ship targeting functionality. Um, lock on reduction, which is nice. Um, sh ship weapons having more damage and costing less to use. There's also energy weapons, engine systems, payload, shield systems. And all of these perks that are on much higher tiers. So it's going to take a long time for us to get to the level that we really want to with the ships. 
because on top of that, you can't just focus on that because we spend so much time out in the field as well, uh, doing so many other things. So it's, it's quite interesting. Um, more oxygen available, my maximum health, which I think I might go for. Like you need, you need to get the first perk in stealth just to get that stealth meter. Suppressed weapons do 5% additional damage. Unlocking the ability to pickpocket targets would be nice too. I think we'll grab that actually, because I think that'll be quite um, quite useful for retrieving useful gear. So we'll, we'll put it in that. And then I guess from here, put points into our grav drive and plot a new course for a new system. This game is going to be huge for us to explore, like, all of these systems and all of these planets. And hopefully there'll be some amazing, fun quests for us to do across the galaxy too. But let's go to the Volley system. Volley Alpha. So... Interestingly enough, it's like, you haven't taken this ship for- Like, you haven't taken this uh, pathway before, so you can't go here. But then you go to like another system, and then you have to go to this system anyway. So it, it's just kind of like, it feels a little bit pointless. It feels a little bit pointless to have to wait in another loading screen doesn't seem like there's many like potential consequences but i guess we gotta roll with the punches this is neon so volley alpha is this is where we hail from so this is exciting let's go get the special sauce let's land oh fuck yes dude genuine just named after what the city is neon Every vice imaginable can be found on Neon, and the Astral Lounge is the heart of it all. Landing side looks clean. Let's set it down. I love cyberpunk, and I love retrofuturism. Like, I adore Blade Runner. I can't wait to play Cyberpunk 2077 for myself. Like, it's kind of hilarious that I'm like, here we are, guys, we're playing Starfield. And um, all those other RPGs are just poking me in the back of the head, like, play with me. And I'm like, oh, all the, all the games that I want to play so fucking bad, you know? Why is it just you? How do I get both of them? How do I get both of them with me? Only one point of Moera's patrol route to work from. That's how it goes sometimes. Because does this mean you leave or what? Until later. I just want you to go back on the ship. Just back on the ship. Good work with the bartender. Let's finish what we've started before we go our separate ways. <sighs> okay. You cannot dismiss. Sarah until we go to Venus. Okay. Lovely. Uh, which means the adoring fan is, I guess, just stuck on the on the ship. Because you can only have one companion at a time, I suppose. Welcome to Neon. And it's uh, it's breathable air. See that shroud covering Neon? Believe it or not. You're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. That's cool. Um, do I blend in here? <laughs> I want to be a cowboy, baby. Oh, God. Precious cargo, our lives in your hands. Oh, 
Oh, so that... Okay. <clears throat> so it's a water world. And this city of Neon, powered by lightning, is propped up above the, the ocean. That is um, kind of terrifying. If I say so myself. It's a long way down. It's like some sort of checkpoint ahead. It's probably designed to suck the credits directly from your pocket. Neon security. Shroud covering neon. Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. Sarah just hit her head when we landed. That's okay, guys. Word is the Borealis, you know, the DJ. Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. A lot of easy activities that come through into our quest log as well, just by conversations in the world. Scram, I'm on duty. I love that he's like, Scram, I'm on duty. And he's like, hey, did you hear about this DJ? People, if the gangs can keep from killing each other, just might have a good day. What were you going to say before? I'm being scanned for something. Don't move, Nesha! What this about? Cut the act. Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run, and we open fire. Do you know what I mean? I'm just a curious observer. So, what was the plan, Nesha? Smuggle the Aurora into Aquila City or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, is all. Honest mistake, right? right here. I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayo's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it. Let's go. And he just regularly gets into this. Speak, speak to Nesha in jail. Okay, interesting. No funny business, okay? New around here? Hmm. Make certain you familiarize yourself with our rules and regulations regarding the transport of Aurora. After all, you don't want to end up like Nishar, do you? Yeah, cool. I'm not new here at all. I grew up in the alleys of Ebside. Well, things change, and you appear to have been off-world for a while, so let me refresh your memory. First and foremost, the interplanetary transport of Aurora is strictly forbidden. Anyone caught transporting the substance through this checkpoint will be arrested, fined, and jailed, if necessary. I can legally carry it around the city? You are free to carry and use Aurora anywhere within the city limits, yes. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just gonna exit the, the conversation now. Move along. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this place is all about. Home, or at least it used to be, until I fucked everything up. All right, here it is. Ryujin Industries is looking for I love this stuff. Apply for a job at Ryujin Industries kiosk. <laughs> Apply for a job. Yo, dude. Got a call someone's power kept going out. Know what it was? A heat leech as long as my leg. Yuck. I love when we enter a place that's just like incredible to just look at all the details and just take everything in. Ebside, that's where I'm from, apparently. Interesting. This district certainly provides evidence that Ryujin's influence has spread from their tower and out into the city. Free Star Rangers. What's the Free Star Rangers? It looks fucking sad in here. Damn. Blew all my money at the Astral Lounge. Free Star Rangers outpost. All right, we're getting distracted. I need the special sauce. We need to go to Ebside to do it. Uh, we will definitely take a look around here, though, because this is very exciting. This is right up my alley. I'm just going to move back to Neon, That's and that's the rest of the playthrough. We'll just hang out in my cyberpunk city. 
Uh, excuse me? Oh, uh, sorry. Fuck. Did I look at you funny? Fucking. Oh, uh, alright. Don't mind me. I thought this guy was going to have an actual name because he uh, has a properly rendered face. The colors. The colors. Uh, I guess he's using Aurora. <clears throat> I love that I've seen the same citizen's face like 30 times. His music is really nice though. You know what? I've got half a mind to turn the crowd density like to zero, just so I don't have to deal with all of the uh, the cold, heartless, lifeless stares. Everyone just is so rude. Everyone is just staring. Don't look at me. Carry on with your day, you know? Just ignore me. My favorite part of real life is that you walk around, nobody fucking looks at you, dude. You just blend in. You might think people are watching you, but everyone's too concerned with themselves, you know? In this game, everyone is staring at you. What I don't sell ends up in troll. Drives me crazy. I don't Do you believe Xenofresh charges us a licensing fee to fish near Neon? That's unbelievable. Come in right now. And Euphorica. You have a chance to experience our exclusive members lounge. What is this so what place? You Are you ready to feel Euphorica? You ready to feel Euphorica, Sarah Morgan? Because I kind of am. I gotta go to this Chunks place first. Remember when you used to be able to like drink for health? I used to like drink out of toilets and stuff? Those were the days. Alright. <clears throat> oh man, you don't even have a fucking like counter to order from. What is going on here? This is like the worst Chunks I've ever seen and this is the second one. Welcome to Chunks. Please choose your Chunks. Oh, you sound just like this girl that I know. Thanks for choosing Chunks. Which Chunks would you like today? I'm here to pick up some special sauce for the Chunks in New Homestead. Huh. I thought that was a joke at first, but yeah, here you are. Let me get that for you. It's amazing how popular this stuff is on Titan. You'd think they just drank it over there. It's actually just that one guy. Welcome to Chunks, home of the best Chunks in the settled systems. I hate had just how hungry uh, it makes me, right? It's it's the worst. It genuinely gives me a hankering for some food in my belly. I'm checking out Euphorica. We're on Neon. We may as well see what it's all about, right? Okay, let's settle this once and for all. Velocity or Chimera? You kidding? Chimera, all day. Why do you think I'm here? I don't know. Chimera's nice, but Little City, that will get you hammered. See, you just proved my point. Down your third velocity, and you're out cold. By the third Chimera, you're floating on frickin' cloud nine. I don't know about you, but that's where I'd rather be. Yeah, I guess you're right. Where the hell did Micah learn to mix a drink like that anyway? Well, let's face it, some people are just gifted. Some people are just gifted. Uh, I need a, I need to take off my poncho outfit. I need something else. My, my uh, fucking cyberpunk outfit has been given to Sarah. I'm going to wear the jumpsuit. Yeah, I'm going to wear the jumpsuit with a cowboy hat. Danny Garcia, boy, what's up with you? Why are you looking so glum? Excuse me. I don't suppose you're looking for a robotics expert, are you? I have a vested interest in getting out of Neon. You don't have a vested interest in eye contact, though. Energy weapon systems, robotics, and chemistry. This is actually really cool, because this ties into what I was talking about, right? With um, our perks and struggling to level up our characters. But you can get crew members that have those specific perks you might be looking for, like shielding, energy weapon systems, all of that kind of nonsense, and have people on your ship helping you out, which is really, really interesting. I actually like that. I'm not sure if we're limited 
to a certain amount of crew members. Uh, I'll be quite curious about that. And I'm assuming the hiring them is a one-time purchase of the of the credits here. Because we spoke to a, was it, ballistics weapon expert uh, in that bar that one time. So I'm, I'm assuming they'll just stay in that place if we want to come and find them later. But I'm very much interested in that. And then I'm wondering if they'll be able to come with you out into the field as well potentially or just stay on your ship who knows but i'm just gonna leave her alone <laughs> so much for common courtesy i mean you were just chilling here with um on your own citizen you good you good bro you for another chimera door locked oh man okay and keep them coming it's been a rough day if you're in need of there's a, there's a mission board here as well. Um, mission today. I'll have to complete Perhaps my missions that I've already picked up. Visit the members lounge. Wish I could, but I can't swing that right now. <laughs> Nothing beats getting zoned in the members lounge. In the meantime, numbers beats the members lounge. Member lounge. I want to go to the members lounge. Ready okay. to relax? Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our member's lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. Yeah, I want to see what the member's lounge is. My imagination was uh, was zooming on the outside, and I came in here, and this place looks uh, very uh, dull. So I need this member's lounge. Can you tell me more about it? Customers choose our lounge because they desire a more relaxed and sedate journey as they experience the joy of Aurora. We have no blaring music, no crowds, no chaos. The mood here is specifically crafted to allow a full range of mindful self-exploration. Damn, okay. Um, can I purchase Aurora here? Sorry, no. Aurora sales are only permitted through the Astro Lounge. We simply provide a safe haven for you to enjoy it in peace. If you desire access to the lounge, you can purchase admittance for a completely reasonable fee. Otherwise, you're welcome to relax, listen to our music, and perhaps enjoy a chimera. <sighs> yeah. Um, any other perks come with access to the members' lounge? Not only will you be able to experience one of the most exclusive Aurora lounges in Neon, you also have access to our private bar. The bartender down there is a personal friend of mine, and he sells some rather unique items. Hmm, I'll pass for now, but sounds intriguing. I'll have to add that to my list. No problem. Let me know if you change your mind. If you need anything else, Please, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I'd like to order a drink, please. Drinks are permitted in the members' lounge. Awesome. All right. Um, what you got for me? Shall we try Chimera? What was the other one? Velocity? I don't see that here. Chimera. A canned cocktail of three different liqueurs. Plus 10% persuasion chance for three minutes, plus 50% damage resistance for three minutes, and minus 15% O2 recovery for three minutes. Love that. All right, I'll take it. Just the one, please. Why are you always assuming I want the most? I'm not an alcoholic. Just the one, thank you. May all your journeys be safe. Oh man, I, I just want to, can I have a, right, I guess I'll sit in your spot. I'll steal this. <clears throat> All right, time to have a drink. Just remember, don't touch, um, Thanks. don't touch this. Fucking, don't touch anything else. I'm not getting arrested today, I promise you. Now, last time we did this, I put it on the table and I wanted to like eat it, but then I forgot that you just pick it up. You can't eat it when it's in front of you. So I have to do that. And there, there we go. Now I've had my chimera. Ooh, there we go. That was the good stuff, Sarah. Ah, oh, there we go. For the sake of roleplay, we'll get into that members lounge one day. Actually, you know what? I just had a thought. Guys, don't listen to me when I talk. 
It's so creepy. You see how they acknowledge me? It's like they're listening to me talking in real life. They're staring right into my soul. Now, we don't have a stealth meter yet. We have the ability to like, you know, make a fucking crouch happen. I'll just have a beer for now. Behind the bar? Coming right up. Behind Thanks, the Mike. bar, sir? Get away. You do not order from behind the bar. Like coming here. Let's me forget everything. That fucking dude's way too comfortable. My thoughts is um if we can get a stealth meter, I could probably pickpocket the key to the members lounge and I don't need to spend uh three uh five K on doing so. You know? Unbelievable. Let's see what else we can find around here for now. Look at this fucking you what the fuck? The fact that it's like very easy to just take a goddamn dive is is the worst. I wonder if we can take a dive, you know? You ever just stop for a second and think, you know, what if? What if there was no fall damage? What if we just dived, Sarah Morgan? What if we just dived and then we boost packed right as we are about to make impact with the water? Perfect. Great. Now I'm all the way down the bottom. Does she follow me? <laughs> Sarah! Where are you? Sarah. <laughs> she only joins when it's like solid. Also, how funny is it? Oh god, that's a creature in there. Oh, okay. I thought she only joined when um, it's solid. Um, you're gonna drown. Okay, never mind. She can join uh, in the water. That's fun. Um, I love that the fucking booster pack just fucking appears. Look at this. It's a chasm bass. Maybe you can get that to point us to the nearest restaurant. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> Terrible. I wish I could see it, but, um... Please attack me or something. Can we attack it? I want to get a closer look at you. Look at that thing. It's a good thing that its spikes don't make it, uh, super scary or anything. Ooh, oh, look. If you were ever curious to see what, uh, was just down there, there it is. It smells horrible down here. Oh, you're currently trespassing. Oh, how can these workers stand the smell of rotten flesh oh. and goodness knows what else? Sarah! Sarah, no! Sarah, no admittance! Authorized personnel only, you're trespassing. <laughs> she pulled out her gun and everything. She's a criminal. Someone reported to the cops. Me just like randomly jumping into an area. You are trespassing, okay. But I wanted to look at the fish. Damn, looks like I gotta get a job as a fish worker. If I was to per se, acquire a, uh, a working outfit. Um, do you think that I would be able to um, just sneak right in? Ooh, Seacart's Outfitters. We got some cool neon outfits. Nah, I'm feeling a little burnt out. I think I need a break. Welcome to Seacart's Outfitters. Watching lightning hit the span. You do be sweeping. You know. Ooh, a blue Neo City poncho. It's an interesting take on the poncho. Ah, uh, here we go, guys. Fish worker wet wear. So if I buy this, <laughs> I will infiltrate the fishing place. Hope Tech cap, leather pocket wear. Neo City Corp wear. Look at me, I'm going to blend in. New York City urban wear, business wear. Oh, yep. Oh, that's oh, that's so weird. Those little things. We should put the adoring fan in this. Neon nightlife jumpsuit. Neon nightlife skirt. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, cyberpunk skirt fashion. Nova Galactic cap. Shroud Eklund cap. Synth leather streetwear. Doesn't really change much. It's like got a similar sort of thing. Okay, um, well, we need, oh god, I, oh, I hate that, get that away, um, give me the dancer outfit, <laughs> I need that, 
for the adoring fan and dress him up. Um, and I need to test if I can um, wear this uh, fish worker wet wear and uh, infiltrate the fishing place. I uh, wish this poncho didn't look so bad, but it does. So we're going to leave that alone. Um, all right, here we go, guys. The moment of truth. I'm, I'm a fishing boy. I'm currently trespassing. God damn it, dude. Ah, uh, it was worth a shot. Can't be here. But, like, I'm wearing my, um, Sarah, quick, get out of there. You're gonna get shot. Are you trying to piss me off? Leave immediately. Oh my god. Look. Stop in the name of the law! Wait! I'm outside! Freeze. Neon security. I'm literally outside. Pay 350 credits, stolen items confiscated, I'll pay the fine. Pay 2850 contraband. I don't even have contraband on me, dude. What a bribe. I love that, like, Sarah is the one trespassing, but, like, I'm the caregiver, so I get in trouble because my child is acting up. Don't worry, I'll go quietly. I guess you're smarter than you look. Where am I now? I don't appreciate being thrown in prison for your mistakes. My mistake, Sarah Morgan. My mistakes? No, babe. You were the one stood in the fish place. You were stood in the fish place. I was stood on the outside telling you to leave. At least we're not on fucking Mars this time, so that's nice. Jump to Thailand, baby. So I guess we need to work on uh, if there's something that's like a really far jump. You need to have more fuel on your ship. Our cargo is almost full as well. I need to offload some junk. You are entering United Colony space. I'm pretty sure Titan's not supposed to look like that. And we're done. I don't remember Titan looking like this when we were last here, guys. Yeah, it's supposed to like. I guess it's just the sun is just hitting it today, even though it's literally not in view of the sun and is actually currently being blocked by giant Saturn. So, um, Saturn is blocking the sun, but, um, you would not be able to know that because look at, look at Titan today. Look at it. Unbelievable. All right, let's land, uh, and back on New Homestead so we can return to Luther with the sauce, baby, because this was uh, a very important quest line to do. It got us to visit Neon. We got a little peek at it, which is really cool. God, it is really bright on Titan today. There we go. It's settled down a bit. Jesus. Welcome to New Homestead. I'm so happy to be back. Whoa, did you see that weird monster hey, thing? Hey, you're back. Nearly scared I, um, me off to death uh, until I realized people how People are getting antsy for special sauce. You got it? <laughs> the people in the background. It scared the monster scared me to death until I realized how fake it was. Meanwhile, those other tourists got properly scared. I wonder if now that we've gone away, uh, if we talk to her again, we can get that outfit. I've got the chunk special sauce for you. All right, lay it on me. Let's take a look. Thanks a whole bunch. This is gonna put this place back on the map. Ooh, I can't wait until it's time to eat. All right, I got, I got 1,300 uh, credits and some beef chunks. How good was that, guys? That was the best quest, I think, in uh, all of Starfield so far. It's a great time. We take vandalism seriously here. You don't mess with history. Come to Hey there! Hope you brought a healthy thirst for history. Hey, thanks for stopping by. And then we ask him for another tour. Um, let's go talk to the doc. I guess I have that. Can I have my uh, outfit back, please? Do you need medical assistance? I saw another group of tourists making their way outdoors. Ripe for scaring. Want to help me out again? Yes. Can I keep it, though, please? I can help you scare away these tourists. Okay. <laughs> Why not? We don't want to let these monster sightings go too few and far between. We're bound to see results soon. Are you ready to put on the monster costume and go scare them right now? 
Do you really think this is helping? I can't argue with the results. Tourist accidents have been down since we started doing this. So, yes. All right, now's good. I think it might be worth trying. Good luck out there. Please let me keep it. Otherwise, I'm just going to leave and just give it to my adoring fan. All right. Um, <laughs> it's back, baby. Can you imagine if it was a different monster costume every time? All right, it's on, baby. Oh, yeah, but the suit's hidden, so... You can't hide the suit in a time like this. Show the spacesuit in settlements. I must be seen. I must be witnessed. I kind of want to try food from that junk. Okay, here they are. Should we just like be a monster that goes and shoots at them from a distance? We won't shoot at them this time. Ah! Ah! I don't have the energy the second time around. It gets boring after a while, guys. You guys are so easy to scare. Ah, boogity boo. Boogity boogity boo. boo, boo, boo. Ah! ah, yes. I'm going to eat your ass. Hey, yeah. Ah. All right, anyway. See you later, guys. I'll see you uh, never, hopefully. I love, I love them running inside with me. It's chasing me! Run away! No! Get away from me! This is my favorite Run part. Away! Get away! My favorite part is the slow panic. No! Leave me alone! That they have to like properly enter before they can run. Look, I know what I'm asking you to do is pretty silly, but I still think it's worth a shot. I scared off some tourists for you. See, sometimes silly ideas are worth the effort. Thanks for <laughs> indulging me with my weird ideas. Come back in a few days to do this for me again, and that costume is yours. All right? Let's go. I've been promised the costume, everybody. I've been promised the costume. There's a, b a few more credits under our belt. I love it. All right. I'll be back, Doc. Just you wait. We're going to go buy the Dragon Star Force book and give it to our media sponge. Let's get out of here. Bird on the ground. Whoa. First person landing. That was cool. I'd like more of that, please. That was cool. Landing in first person is very immersive. Can we do more of that, please? I'm here for volume two of the Dragon Star Force book, please. Oh. As vital as spaceships are to these settled systems, everything would grind to a halt without the trade authority. All right, Drifter. Fast. How you going, sir? If I am not mistaken, you are new here. I hope you find Hope Town as full of opportunity as the trade authority does. <laughs> A marvelous place, truly laissez-faire. If you have any difficult cargo to unload, I'm happy to oblige. Uh, I'm looking for a book. So Hope Town's all right with you being here? Security and I have come to a very equitable arrangement, beneficial to all parties. I can't. Can I just ask to st for about the book, please? It's always nice to see the Trade Authority. Are you? I think we'll be the best of friends and business partners. So, do you need anything? Book. Excellent. Book. Dragon Star Force Volume 2. Actually, what else do you have? Well, while I'm here, you got anything else? <laughs> An old earth hunting rifle, huh? I like the look of that. That's very expensive, though. I'm sure I'll find one in my travels. Thank you for the book. Lovely place you got here. I'm out of here. <laughs> I love the concept of, like, brand new planet. Wow, brand new city. Exciting. Yeah, I'm just here for this book, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll get out of your hair now. Okay, hello. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be back soon. All right, there he is. 
is gonna be great to have that Dragon Star Force book in my collection. Mitch Benjamin. Did you get it? Let me see, let me see. Ooh, now hold on a second. This one was hard to get. I want a little extra. I got turned into shredded cheese uh, in one particular save file for this book. Oh, uh, I don't know. I like that he's like, I don't know. It's like, I thought you wanted this book, Collector Man. I'm not asking for any more than I deserve. I could maybe see upping my offer. So you're saying no now, but if I know you enough, you'll say yes eventually, right? You know what? I may be starting to like you. Uh, okay. I guess it's the least I could do for making you go out of your way to find it for me. I don't need my old non-first edition copy of the book anymore, so you can have it, I guess. Thanks. Nice. All right, we got the non-first edition version, which is actually great because I did the same thing that we did last time, and I forgot to fucking read it before I gave it to him. Oh, wait. Why do I have a copy of Volume 1? Did he, get, did he do that last time as well? Did he give me another copy to read the hunt for the dragon star continues Zephrex and his heroic companions Pro protonius the android lag Loreal, the princess of zlax and jamon the changeling may have escaped from the clutches of sarklon and destroyed his asteroid fortress but the galaxy is still in peril with sarklon now in pursuit of the dragon star himself it's a race for who will control the fate of the universe Find out what happens next time in Dragon Star Force, Volume 3. I wish that stupid detonation alarm wouldn't wake me up when I'm trying to take a nap. <laughs> but they gotta make it loud enough for the miners to hear. Can I help you out with those books again if you'd like? Oh, God! Uh, track down another volume of Dragon Star Force! <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. I'll do it. Look, I'll keep my word as long as you keep yours. I'm going to keep getting you those books, buddy. we got to keep the collector happy. Uh, from an off-world vendor. Alright, we're going to leave that one, though. I just needed to pick it up from him, you know? It's important to just pick it up. Um, I feel like... God, we've got a lot of activities that have just been added here. This is like... I think this is that, you know, Skyrim miscellaneous section that will just never be empty, you know? It'll just, it'll never be empty. I think something that's really unfortunate about the activities list is that it is very vague and it doesn't, like obviously you can track it and it'll take you to where you need to go, but it's like, it's just talk to this person. Not even a location. I think a location would be nice. I think we're going to head back to uh, the lodge in Jemison. I think that's a good idea for us. So we go back to Alpha Sun Torre. Head back to Jemison. Because I want to check in with this room of mine that we've got. And maybe, uh, maybe offload, maybe offload some goods as well. Much as I'm eager to explore the universe, there's nothing quite like the feeling of returning home. I am at your service, Captain. Vasca, I missed you. Can you come onto the ship, please? Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, oh. I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. Really just left this guy behind and we could have just picked him up immediately. <laughs> I just assumed he would stay here because Sarah was like, I'm with you now. Um, we should go back to Vectera, shouldn't we? See if, because Barrett's like just chilling there. Maybe I should go and see what's going on in Vectera. Do you miss Barrett? 
My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. I believe Barrett would find your question amusing. Protecting Barrett must have been quite the challenge. Barrett has thus far survived every mission on which we have embarked. It is therefore evident that my efforts have been successful. I suspect that Barrett would disagree with how necessary my intervention has been in any given situation. I'm surprised that they didn't do a situation where Barrett gets like shot and he's like dying and he's like, ah man, take my ship. You know, so he just like perishes, but he's like, he's just on Vectera. Um, I'll ask you about Outpost development later. I don't, I'm not sure if we're going to focus on base building stuff. There's like the Fallout 4, it just works things. It could be fun eventually, but I'm not sure. It's not like the thing that really sings to me. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. Yeah. Greetings. Unlocked with the lodge key. It's a good thing I've got the key. Oh, we've got a basement. Damn, I haven't even explored more of this place yet. Weapon workbench. Oh, wow, we've got all the workbenches. We've got a weapon rack. We've got a nice little shotgun there. And a, uh... That's called the coachman. Nice. Okay. Damn, okay. We've got, like, full workbenches up here. Research lab. Pharmaceutical lab. We got a we got lettuce. We got cooking station. Look at this. How much can I store in here? Because in my ship I've got a limited amount of space. Uh, let's just store something in here and we'll find out. Store Barrett's personal slates. <laughs> Now check storage. It has an infinite mass number. This is not a maximum mass. I think we might have an infinite storage unit here, which is very nice. So I, I might be able to just chuck all my crap in there. That's what I've been looking forward to. I gotta sell some stuff. I gotta grab stuff out of my cargo hold, but that is good news. No one's sleeping in here. You're awake. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. Alright, we found Noel's room. And this is Mateo's room. I guess we got someone else has a room downstairs. Lovely. Well, we'll get more familiar with this place. Same with Vasco, we'll we'll get familiar with it. But Vasco's on the on the ship now, which is really nice. So I think what we're gonna end up doing now is now that we've got Vasco on board and we can't really proceed with our cool undercover pirate quest at the moment, I think the best thing for us to do is go to Venus. Uh, we should do the, the main quest. We should get back on track. Uh, so we're going to head to the solar system. Um, I kind of want to take a little, take a little moment to go to Earth. I was looking for Earth, and I forget that Earth looks like fucking garbage. <laughs> and I want to land on Australia because we can pick a spot and land. So here we go. We're going to go to uh, Australia. I want to land right there. Earth in the sandy desert. We're going to land in Australia. Pick a spot. Wow, it's just like home. Oh, Vasco, okay. So Vasco's here. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Vasco and Sarah here. Where is my adoring fan? Why won't he get off the ship? And then if we look at our local map, let's check the surface map. Is an unknown thingy, and an unknown thingy. How exciting! Let's head. Uh, let's head this way. Let's see what unknown thingy we can find. 
Uh, so, th guys, this is where I live. How oh, cool, right? I wonder if we should also try and um, go on to the go on to the moon and see if we can land on a different side of the moon and maybe we can see Earth's orbit from there. That could be an interesting thing. Just land on the other side. Unexplored geophysical feature. Unknown feature. Consisting primarily of iron nickel alloy, this siderite was ejected from a distant plan plan planet okay. Planetesimal? I don't know what to, okay. Storm crater. I've surveyed the earth. Because I found some stuff. <laughs> I found an iron meteorite. This is exactly where I used to live, guys. This is what it looks like currently. <laughs> Alright, well, I wanted to see what it would look like. And uh, it's uh, fucking miserable. <laughs> so, that's Earth. Looking beautiful. Next time, we head to Venus. And we will continue to proceed with the main quest until we're stronger and more capable of doing some additional things. And uh, there, there's clearly just so much more for us to learn and engage with in this game. There's so many systems, there's so many quests, there's so many people. Uh, it is quite large. It's as big as you want it to be, really. Uh, so we're going to continue the main quest next time and see what's in store for us. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.